How's it going guys? It's Root Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be talking about file browsers. Now you guys might be like okay what is what's this about right? Well specifically we're talking about two things. One thing is the fact that ES file browser which is basically my favorite file browser has uh, maybe some security issues with it let's put it that way and I've been using it for years and I absolutely love it but it's not going to work out for us so well so I went ahead and uninstalled it so now we're looking at option two as to what is the best file browser so one that I like to use right right now and I've been using for a while is this solid explorer which is which is a nice uh, solid you know file browser it's very good um, has some good features in it and, and looks really nice but what I want to cover today is another file browser, and it is called um, a Maze File Browser, which is this one right here. And this is actually open source, so you guys can see what it's done and how it's built. So if you ever want to look into that, you can, and that's one of the beautiful things of it. The other thing that I really like about this is the look of this file browser. So let me go ahead and show it to you. I've already installed it, and we're going to go through and kind of do a walkthrough of the features and how it works and how you can use it. So. To do that, let's go ahead and check it out. And the first thing you're going to notice is that this thing is lollipop themed. It's got all that skin and all that beautifulness of lollipop. Um, so I really like it. Even like the buttons down here, the little plus button at the bottom. And it's got a real nice feel to it. Okay? So, but we're going to go through some of the settings, some of the features of it. So one of the things that you'll notice right here is that you can actually swipe. Let's see if it'll do it. Oh, yeah, there it goes. You can swipe over back to the root directory, or you can swipe to your SD card, and you can set these up how you want them. So you do have two screens to work with, which I definitely love, and that's also true with Solid Explorer if you want that one. Um, then we're going to come into here, and you can see you have some dedicated shortcuts if you need to get right into something else, like downloads, which is nice and easy way to jump around, music, videos, pictures. And you can actually set these to whatever you want, which is very cool. So right here you can says bookmark manager. You can see you've got a bunch of them. You can delete them or add them to bookmarks however you want. So it's pretty nice, easy shortcuts to use. I like that a lot. I think, let's see, storage. Yeah, so storage goes to root. Root also goes to root, so both of them go there. But um, just interesting. You do have settings down here, and there is a lot in here as well. And there's some cool things in here too I'll show you. But first thing I kind of want to point out about it, if I can find it. Da, 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 da. Oh yeah, right here. Um, root Explorer. So it does allow root access, and you can explore as root, and you can do root commands in it. So it is a root application, which is really important for a file browser, at least for me it is. Um, you can do show permissions, zip create folders, archive extract folders. You can set some default stuff. You can see how it's sorting and a bunch of things you can adjust here. But probably one of my favorite things you can do is the theme and the skin. So right now we're on dark and I can easily switch it to light and it just changes your backdrop, which is pretty cool. Dark I think just looks better. I've always preferred dark. But then you can do this, which is really neat. So you can come in here and do all of your skins and you can see they even have super sue. So you can see that it's changing the skin and the look of the uh, backgrounds or the accent color I guess you could say so I think that's pretty cool it's neat that you can do this and just cool functionality so I'm gonna go back to like I'll do side gen mod this time there you go so pretty neat easy to change easy to work with you can also go in here and do colorized nav bar so like I'll show you so then you can see the nav bar is also colorized but if you don't like that you can easily turn it off so you know very nice very nice good good customization so colorize icons i can turn that off and then you'll see a difference here when we go back out of this so see they're all blue everything's blue 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 right so if we go back into settings and colorize the icons which i think looks really cool then when you come back to it see uh, they're different colors based on what they are the kind of uh, file they are so it's just unique, uh, neat features like that. Obviously, you have your home button up here, which right now is going to take you to the root directory. Um, and then up here on the top, sorry, break back in the camera there, just some basic sorting information. You can also come into them, and you can click on a file, kind of hold down on it, 
and then go to the information up here and you can see you've got your properties your rename your compress your open permissions shortcuts yada 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 it's all there cut copy paste so it's full full fledged file, file browser so yeah that's pretty much what it is um, just really nice if you're looking for something different instead of using ES file browser on your device I would highly recommend checking out the Amaze file browser or Solid Explorer both really really good applications that's going to be it for me today guys hope you've liked this kind of tutorial of this new Amaze file browser check it out on Google Play I'll put all the links in the video description down below and we'll catch you guys in the next one Rude Junkie out